My name is June Pardue and I started weaving in Old Harbor Village when I was 12 years old. And Old Harbor's on Kodiak Island. <clears throat> I learned to weave from oh, elders in the community and by watching my mother learn. Right now I'm weaving a pair of um, grass socks for the Wells Fargo Museum. What the Aleutic people like to do is, is weave out of the grass. It's beach rye. And when they pick the grass, they're, they um, carefully store it in a cool, dry place. And then we soak it in hot water. I soaked mine this morning for about a half an hour, 45 minutes in really, really hot water. And then when it gets to uh, so that it's pliable, then I can take and split the grass down. There's a core in it that needs to be removed. It's a real hard part. And, along this strip right here. So what I do is I go on ahead and I strip the grass down, removing the core, because that will ruin a basket or grass socks very, very quickly. The hardest part with the socks is forming the sock and having to decrease where I need to be decreasing to make the shape. You know, I have no pattern to go by. So I have to go with looking at socks in museums. I love weaving, I always have, you know, and I think maybe because it's part of my culture, part of my identity and part of who I am. And I think it's very important also to teach the younger generation and to preserve, you know, what we know. I've got three full days on the bottom and then you figure another three days uh, working this, and that's working good eight, ten hours a day, working here. And I think I'll have another two or three more days. So you figure 12 days of working just on one side. I've been trying them on. <laughs> so I, I know that, you know, we can wear them. Of course, the grass socks are made to capture moisture inside the boot. It's like making um, fur hats and mittens for my grandchildren. You know, we want to make sure that they're warm. And I'm sure that if I had the time and they were wearing mukluks, I'd do this for them too. What's rewarding for me is like traveling to, years ago, a place like Nunwalik and Port Graham and Sand Point and reviving the art of Aleutic basket weaving and gathering materials in those villages. And today, I know there are weavers in those villages carrying this tradition on.